Hello everybody, I'm Andamel Central and you join me on 37365, a B90 Gemini operated by First Bus in Halifax out of the Todmorden outstation on the 590 in Todmorden. Now you can't see outside because my phone has decided to make it look like um, it's the beaming sun out there but it is in fact absolutely silent it down. Um, it's really really rainy outside thus why I'm starting this video sat on the bus instead of outside there because it made a little bit more sense to start it on the bus that is a lot nicer and warmer. So we're waiting time here at the moment and I am absolutely buzzing for this video. Yes, it is more buzz related puns, B network related puns as today is the 25th. We're going to double check that because I have totally forgotten. Yes, it is Monday the 25th of March because I think we did the 25th of September, didn't we? Uh, Monday the 25th of March and it is the first full weekday operation of B Network Tranche 2. Tranche 2 went live yesterday on Sunday the 24th um, on Sunday service. However, today, Monday the 25th, is the first full day of operations. And like we did in Bolton, we are going to be travelling around the network in this video. So I'm filming a couple of other videos this week. You'll have seen one that's released before this one. Quite a few released after this one. We've got a full week of content planned for the channel. And then I'm also doing revisits as well. So potentially some content next week and in the next few weeks as well. This video is mainly going to focus around my first impressions. We're going to be traveling around the network. We're going to be traveling with the different operators operating out of different depots. I'm going to be explaining what's going on, the routes that we sample, the vehicles that we're sampling. I'm going to talk all about them, the routes and the vehicles and the depots um, that are part of the um, tranche 2 of B network. We're going to be sort of seeing the first impressions, as I say, seeing if there's any teething problems, seeing what vehicles are currently in use um, and hopefully having quite a nice trip around the network. So we're starting the video on this bus in West Yorkshire, basically in that direction, um, 10 minutes in that direction is Greater Manchester. And what we'll be doing is we'll be taking this bus from here to Todmorden all the way to Littleborough and starting our um, B network shenanigans from Littleborough with some of the Littleborough buses from um, Littleborough itself over to Rochdale and then beyond. The idea is, is to sample some of the local um, services as well as some of the longer services, see all the different types of buses and bits like that. So for now, um, I will show you an odd clip or two as we make our way to Littleborough and then we'll see you all when we get there for our first of the Tranche 2 B Network bus services that we'll be sampling in this video. Thank you. So here we are at Littleborough Square. Um, we're going to be waiting for the five, the four, five, eight service that leaves here at nine thirty-five. Um, I don't know why this bus is still here. It's already a couple of minutes late. And there we go. There it goes into Littleborough Station. Now what the bus is going to do is it's going to do a little bit of a spin around and then come and pick us up. The four, five, eight itself does a bit of a circular um, around Littleborough, it sort of does it anti-clockwise and we'll be doing the latter half of the circular. Interestingly enough that's 47633, now 47633 is quite funny um, because it is an, in fact an ex first, oh, in fact an ex first Leeds street light. Um, they've got some of the ex first Leeds street lights that have been replaced by the kites here so it's quite funny that we're going to be starting off with that bus and I'll tell you why um, an ex first West Yorkshire bus has a bit of reference um, on these little circulars. And here we go, our first Tranche 2 B Network vehicle, first Rochdale's 47633 SM15ADZ that will take us into Rochdale on the 458. It's looking a little bit different to when I last saw this in Leeds.
we're doing well so far. We're only a couple of minutes late, um, although the driver's taking it steady. I think it's his first time driving this route, so he's taking it a bit steady, double checking and bits like that. And um, it's always best to double check um, instead of going wrong somewhere, as it's a lot more embarrassing going wrong somewhere than just double checking just to make sure. So um, we're doing quite well for time. We're going up to Wardle now. We're going to spin around at Wardle and then make our way into Rochdale. So this one is 47633, it's one of the small number of um, smaller 10.8 metre street bikes um, that were new to um, First Cymru and First South Wales um, that again has a relation with some other vehicles here that we'll hopefully sample one later on. And then it transferred over to Leeds for the number 5 with some of its other sister vehicles. Now all of these have been withdrawn, a few of them have gone over to Worcester but quite a lot of them were unaccounted for and the unaccounted ones have now appeared here at Rochdale. They've all been painted up, there's no Leeds City branding on anymore, they've taken all the Leeds City branding off. They've put some standard uh, bits like the no smoking stickers, bits like that, and uh, um, TFGM standard. They've got a TFGM standard notice at the front um, that you'll see. So apart from the interior, I wouldn't really suspect too much that this is a first bus vehicle um, because there's no major first bus branding on it. So this one is um, quite interesting, as I say, X First West Yorkshire. Now what's quite interesting about that is not this specific service. However, um, this corridor of routes between Littleborough, um, Stansfield, Littleborough and Rochdale um, have had quite a turbulent history in recent times. Originally over and by first bus in Rochdale back in the day, then Russell started um, sort of chipping away at the network. This was one of the first services that Russell started to run. First, then pulled out, um, based at this time at Oldham, they pulled out of running the main Stansfield services, these were moved to Todmorden, they used to be the 457s etc, they were moved to Todmorden, run as the 588, the Stansfield Circular, Todmorden then gave up on that service when they sort of cut back their 589 and Rosso started running the whole lot. Now, a couple of days ago, this was run by a 10.8 metre streetlight um, that was a transit Rosso one. Today, it's 10.8 metre first bus streetlight, and it's quite cool to have all of these services run um, once again by first for probably the first time. First time they've all been run by first in at least a decade, um, all of the services together. So it's pretty, pretty cool um, to think of it that way. Thank you. So there we go, so we're in Rochdale and as you could see when we're coming in here it's a lot more yellow than it was on our last visit. Um, it's a very very weird dynamic, there's no, there's only that bit of Rosso now, literally the only thing that you get from Transitive and Rosso is the 464, the rest of it is first bus and stagecoach. Very very strange dynamic now. I think both for the enthusiast perspective and the general public is going to take a bit to get getting used to. But for now, we'll stand outside the exit to the bus station. We'll probably get a couple of photos of some bits that go past and then we'll jump on our next bus. 
So here we go, so we're now going to take a little ride on a route that we sort of did um, during the Rosso farewell, so I thought it would be quite appropriate, the 451. So the 451 and the 450 have replaced, I believe, the R4 and the R6, and they're clockwise and anti-clockwise circulars around um, Peppermint Bridge. So we're going to do this one up to Peppermint Bridge and hopefully do the other one in the other direction on the way back. So we'll cover the same route, sort of same route itself twice, but we'll get two different buses in that should be good. This one is X Wales, the first Cymru, X44579, one of three 200 middies that have been drafted in. So as we jump on this, going past the other way, um, is one of the new Stagecoach Manchester 24 planes. So they've got a load of um, brand new buses, um, the 24 plate MMCs are just part of the batch of um, 24 plate buses that have entered service today. So we're just making our way around the estate um, in Mill Road, just on our way to Peppermint Bridge. The bus going um, in the other direction on the other circular, the 450 that we're going to catch is about 10 or 15 minutes late. Um, we're not the end of the world, it's the first time I've been around these parts, so I'll probably have a little bit of a wonder, although it is running, so that's the main thing that matters. So as you can see with these stickers up here, it does state that these, or well, at least this E200, I presume the other two are as well, are only on loan. They were quite last minute transfers, as in they appeared pretty much two days before um, the B network went live, they appeared at Oldham. Um, two of which are in the Olympia livery, the one that we're about to go on next is in the Swansea and the Bay um, red livery that they've just covered over with B network stickers, um, so I thought it would be quite nice to go on these. Um, it's my first time on a first bus spec E200, I've been wanting to do a first bus spec E200 for some time, but the geography of where they're based and where I'm based has meant that it hasn't happened at all now, so when I found out that these were on here I thought these were the buses I wanted to sample, probably a good thing because it does look like they are only on loan as well. So first off, Jail being the operator of the smaller franchise means that they're doing all these local routes, so that's why they've got these smaller buses in. Now we're supposed to be getting some vehicles, some stratas from Mellow now, for those of you that know Mellow were based in Rochdale, Mellow very very recently went into administration, that meant that the vehicles that they were anticipating on getting for these services, they never actually got unfortunately, um, and as you will um, notice throughout my other video buses in Rochdale, you'll see that Stagecoach Manchester has quite a lot of new 24 plates, but first Rochdale doesn't have any brand new vehicles as of yet. In fact, the entire operation that first in Rochdale are running, very similar to when Diamond took over the smaller franchise in Bolton, is all existing vehicles and existing transferred in vehicles from other parts of the first bus. It's expected, just like Diamond, um, that newer vehicles will arrive in due course. Obviously, the main franchise winner with the more services, the bigger and more services, does take priority. However, hopefully, first bus will follow suit with some of the new vehicles very soon. That will mean the likes of these will probably not be sticking around for that much longer. So if you are going to travel over to the B network, these should be the buses that you aim to photograph and sample. That's why I'm on one of them now, and that's why I'm going to be getting one of them shortly. 
so I'll show you a few more clips as, as we make our way to Peppermint Bridge. Hopefully it does get a little bit more scenic. We do start to get a little bit further out of the Manchester border and Manchester sort of zonal area. So hopefully we'll get a little bit more scenic as we make our way to Peppermint Bridge and we'll jump off there and we'll board our other service, the 450, back into Rochdale. Thank you. So here we are at Peppermint Bridge, potentially just before Peppermint Bridge, I don't actually know, um, but it does look like a relatively terminus of sorts. So it does have a couple of minutes to the bus here, so we'll get a quick few photos of it, and then we'll wait for our next bus that is like this, but in red, that will take us on the 450 back into Rochdale. So although this looks like the terminus, it does appear that the bus goes up. Um, the kind driver waiting for me to get a couple of photos that I thought was nice. The bus does go up to one more t stop um, to turn around and then comes around here that you would think with the size of the vehicle, you would think the turn around here, but clearly not. Um, as it's gone back up to turn around somewhere up there, but it will come back around here um, and then take us. Um, it will continue its way as it does into um, Rochdale around the industrial estate and then hopefully as I say from that bus stop over there as it looks like this is only the 436 it's first time being up here so it's all a little bit confusing and the um, and we'll wait for the other side for the 450 that as I say is like that E200 but it's red um, and will take us um, back around the way we've just come all the way around into Rochdale so Although this bit's been changed and it includes the new route numbers, it appears that the map hasn't been done as it's all still R4 and R6, R9 and R10. Um, that is a little bit confusing for the public um, if it's still the existing numbers um, on here. However, as I say, hopefully um, it's pretty clear that some of the routes have reverted back to the older numbers. People who remember um, the older route numbers will be quite familiar with these. I mean, there's, there's new route numbers here as well, so hopefully that gives it a little bit of an indication. However, an updated map would certainly be appreciated. So our bus is just coming round the corner now, 44581 on the 450 that will take us back into Rochdale. Note the red, two-tone red livery, um, the Swansea and the Pay. So we're nearing Rochdale now and we'll have a look around the bus and once again it's got the I'm on loan to the B network stickers in time that suggests to me 
the, the um, small um, number of them, I believe they've got three at the moment, three of these MIDI E200s um, from First Cymru, um, Swansea and the Bay Valleys um, are only loan vehicles. So if you are wanting to get these in full first spec, as first spec E200s are quite rare up here still with First Boss. So if you do want to get these, um, the time is definitely now to get them. And there's no other interior branding on it, it's all been taken off, so if they do have Swansea branding inside, they have taken it away. So it is still a basic B-Network vehicle, and it's got just like the other one, our six commitments to you from TFGM um, and the B-Network, um, basically saying what, they, um, what the commitments they're going to make to providing bus services around here. So it's quite a comfy back seat is this one, um, I don't mind this bus, I do like these little E200s um, but it is really really strange to think that First Bus is now the operator of all these little local services in Rochdale, they don't operate any of the longer routes, a really really strange dynamic for an operator that we've always associated with North Manchester and with the key corridors. So what we'll do now is we're heading back into Rochdale, we should get there in the next 5-10 to 10 minutes or so and I'll show you a few clips as we make our way back um, and then we'll make our way down to Oldham, all being well on a 409 bus down to Oldham and we'll see what's kicking off in Oldham that is now the main stagecoach threshold. Thank you. So here we are in Rochdale. So there goes the bus that we were on. Um, there's a 409 coming in. Um, I think there's two of them together um, because this one's slightly late. So we'll probably let this one go. Get on the one behind that will hopefully be a bit quieter. But yes, it's definitely a changing face in Rochdale. Um, I mean, back then and um, back um, even last week, you wouldn't dream of seeing a stagecoach Manchester Livid um, MMC here. But now you've got um, that one there and this X. Um, 192's um, MMC, or so I'd say that, 69 plates, it might be um, off Hyde Road. Someone will know in the comments, but basically a stagecoach <laughs> Manchester E400 MMC on the 409. Again, going to take a bit of getting used to is that. So it's definitely a changing face around here. And I must say as well, the really, really nice blinds done by first um, Greater Manchester, or first Rochdale, um, with the bean at work on the front, I think look really, really cool. So it's important to remember Rochdale isn't new to the B network, however it is now a B network takeover. The 471s have been running here um, since last September, although the legal lettering on them has now changed as you can see. It now says Western Street Bolton, it previously said Queen's Road, but as of um, sort of the 24th, Queen's Road became um, Stagecoach, so they've had to move their operational legal base to Bolton. So apart from that minor change, 471s are still the same, but now when they come to Rochdale they're surrounded by other yellow B buses as well. So 24 plate that's running quite late um, is just leaving on the 409, another one's coming in now, 69 plate 11256 that will take up to Ashton. I'll take up as far as Oldham, but it is going to Ashton. Right. So there we go, the stagecoach-ish interior, but with a bit of B-network um, yellow as well. Moves the glass off the seat. But yes, um, as a busy one does go, I wouldn't have minded the um, new 24 plate, but either way, this is going to be a bit quieter, so it makes a bit more sense for us.
So this has actually come off the 18. Um, it seems that this one and the other bus have come off the 18 service. I find really, really strange um, because we're under the impression they've come off the 17, but they've done the 18 to Langley, run dead um, to Rochdale to then take up 409s um, to Oldham and Ashton. So I've retired upstairs um, as the upper deck is free, we're still the quieter bus and the 24 plate is somewhere behind us so we will probably start getting a bit busier as we go through the next bus stops. Just wanted to discuss a few things with the 409, now since Stagecoach have taken it over, still run from the Olden Lumps Depot, the 409 now rotates with the 17 and 18 at Rochdale. The idea is predominantly that 409s go up to Rochdale, they then change number to a 17 and then run into Manchester back out to Rochdale and then change to a 409 again. Now there are a few little bits that are a bit different, it's important to note the 17 and 18 were run by Queen's Road, this is only a B network thing that the 17 and 18 have moved to Alden Depot. But there are a few oddball bits, it's like for example this bus and the one behind us, this one's quite late, this one's over 10 minutes late, that one's not as bad. Um, these have come off the 18, so they've both done the 18 to Langley um, and then run dead from Langley to Rochdale. That is a little bit odd, a little bit strange, so there is going to be some dead running with that. However, at least it means um, some nice plush MMCs for these routes. Now this one, for example, doesn't seem to be um, the healthiest. The fan is going off, that's why I've moved upstairs, because the fan was incredibly loud. Um, the seat's comfy. Um, I mean, it, it's very, very comfy as this front seat that I'm sat in at the moment. However, there's a few other bits. So, like, for example, down here, the USB isn't working. It's a bit of a shame. Um, so the USB ports aren't working. The bus doesn't sound in full health. And to say it is only a 69-plate bus, I mean, it is a little bit worrying. So hopefully, once everything has settled down, everybody's settled in, hopefully, Oldham um, can give these buses a little bit of love and care um, for the B network, get the USBs working again, as uh, the ones downstairs at the back were fully pulled out, so hopefully get them working again, potentially re maquette the seats, because that seems to be something they're wanting to do at the moment, um, and as I say these all look just as nice and as new as the 24 plates that are also on this service.
So here we go, in Oldham, a little bit of chaos on the 409, but they've got enough workers, enough people about to try and mitigate um, the problems. So there's a few B network people there, um, and as I say, the drivers are ready to take over the buses to hopefully catch up the time that has been lost um, during the 18s. So there we go, we're back in Oldham Interchange now. There's a couple of um, random bus bits still coming around. And um, most of the 24 place is the theme, all being well if the track is correct for the bus that we're going to be getting. I do also have Steve with me now, who didn't realise it was going to be on camera as usual. Steve has joined me on the 184. We'll hopefully hear from his experiences on the 184 um, as we make our way into Manchester on the 83. Now, as I say, if it is tracking correctly, we do have one of these brand new 24 plate E400 MMCs that should be very exciting. So here we are, coming in now, just behind um, this X First Greater Manchester E300 on the 84, is our E400 MMC that will take us into Manchester on the 83. So this is SK24 CKV 11820. So there we go, so this is a um, B Network Spec E400 MMC, brand new and out of the box and this is um, likely to be its first, um, although potentially second day in service, although it does still have the new bus smell that would suggest to me that this is its first day out. Got some nice padded seats here, a bit more padding than normal, got USB ports um, down there that I'm going to plug into shortly. We've got the nice announcement boards um, up there, we've got the announcement boards facing the other direction, I'll show you but when we jump off, that's for wheelchair users as well, so they can see the announcements, or if people are stood up near the front of the vehicle, they can see the announcements. The nice um, maquette on it as well, um, and as I say, once again a reminder of the brand new bus smell, um, that is very very strong but very nice. There we go, so we've got the 84 alongside us now. Um, we and the 84, the 83 and the 84 now pretty much follow um, an almost identical route into uh, Manchester from this point. The 84 has just served an additional estate area uh, while we join the main, uh, main road straight into Manchester a little bit earlier than it. Well, while we're on the bus, um, a few other additional features that are worth mentioning. Um, the Transport for Greater Manchester um, B-Network vehicle spec is to have two wheelchair bays and this, um, these new MMCs do not disappoint. They do have two wheelchair bays as we've discussed earlier. The um, wheelchair bay facing announcement screen as well is pretty good. So it means that um, even wheelchair users can sort of see the visuals um, as to the locations. Now it's a bit odd on this vehicle that the announcements aren't working. Um, I don't know if you've noticed that Steve, but it is very, very quiet, isn't it? There's no announcements. Yeah. Um, we've got Transport Greater Manchester on the screen, but um, two days in and the announcements aren't set up. So I don't know if this is a case of rushing these buses into service or they haven't managed to upload the files yet, but the announcements aren't working on these as of yet. And it's a little bit of a shame, although I do remember Bolton taking a little bit of time to get some of theirs set up um, from memory. So one other feature with modern sort of um, vehicles nowadays, modern double deckers, is the lack of a back middle seat. It's like me and Steve are, are, are like at the other ends of the vehicle and <laughs> we can't sit together um, because there's this bit in the middle. Now the idea behind this is um, a health and safety thing. So it creates two family areas. We discussed this on the Electroliners, the Leeds Electric Electroliners have the exact same thing. And the idea is, is it's an additional grab pole in an emergency for passengers who are sat um, sort of in these seats as well as it preventing um, potentially people who used to sit in the back middle seat if the bus has to break in an emergency, preventing them flying forward. You do lose a seat, however, from a health and safety perspective, it is better having um, no seat there at all um, to avoid sort of risk of injury and bits like that.
So there we go, we jumped off um, that 83. We're now walking from Piccadilly over to Shoes Hill to catch our next bus. This time from um, the Middleton Depot that it's stolen by Stagecoach. But as we go past all of these ex go North West B9s, still based out of Queensville Depot, but now part of the B network with Stagecoach. Really, really, really strange seeing all of the Stagecoach numbers on them. Um, really, really weird, like 16844. As I say, now a Stagecoach Manchester vehicle, part of the B network. So we are going over to Shoot Hill, we're going to be catching the 156, the plan is, is to do the 156 up to North Manchester General Hospital, um, I like the 156 there, I'll tell you a bit about that vehicle when we jump on, it's quite an exciting one, um, something that Stagecoach have drafted in themselves, so we'll have a little sample of that, um, I'll let you know um, all the history about that, and then when we get up there, if all goes to plan, we will get another one of the brand new bus types um, that has just entered service on the B network, um, fresh this week, we'll catch one of them back into Manchester by that point we will have sampled a bus operated at least one bus operated by each depot in the tranche 2 B network franchise and so that's quite exciting so here we are at stand C in Shudal interchange awaiting what should hopefully be our 156 that will take us to North Manchester General Hospital. Now the scene at Shude Hill has definitely changed. Um, the route that we're catching is run by the Middleton Depot that um, Stagecoach have retained. So not much has changed in regarding um, stuff for their drivers. I mean a slightly different uniform with the B network. Um, the buses are mostly cascaded in, in advance of the takeover um, and the routes are relatively the same. Um, but the vehicle that we're catching is something quite significant, something quite interesting that has um, just been transferred over just for the B network and you'll see it very shortly but apart from that the other things that are very 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 strange is the fact that all of these buses here the varying different types of buses types of buses that stagecoach wouldn't usually run are all now run by stagecoach Manchester so the Scania at the front that was new to London and previously we go south coast is now 15396 the one in the middle that was an ex oxford bus company b5lh hybrid 13181 now in the stagecoach numbering scheme and the b9 at the other side um, as well as this um, e400 coming through and um, that's really tripping me on the queen's road um board it came around with 67 earlier that's also with them and then 16851 over there new to first greater manchester b9 tl x go north west is now 16851 with stagecoach so really really strange at the moment so there we go so that goes on the 17th of actually the is coming around now this is 12061 nk11 dgy and x stagecoach northeast newcastle based e400 hybrid one of the ones that's transferred here to farm middleton So as Middleton have lost some of their MMCs, their MMCs have gone um, over to the B network or been cascaded elsewhere. These NK11s have arrived with the idea that the NK11s are used on um, some of the local services at Middleton Depot. All of these one to us um, that are the NK11s at Stagecoach are all based at Middleton. The ones that are used on the B network are all based at Middleton and at present they are the only hybrids, um, only 400 hybrids on the B network. So we're nearing where we're going to be getting off the bus now at North Manchester General Hospital. However, just wanted to tell you a little bit about these buses. So this one is 12061. Um, these are, as I say, the NK11 batch, um, the batch of hybrids um, that were new for operation with Stagecoach in Newcastle on their local city services. Now these buses started to be withdrawn when the brand new MMCs were delivered. Um, they got some new MMCs in more recent times, double deckers and some singles as well. And as they were um, entering service they started to withdraw these. These saw less and less service and bits like that. 
However, everybody thought they were going to get withdrawn and scrapped and then Manchester needed more buses. The ADL and building strike basically meant that all the buses were being delivered in time and even then Stagecoach was still going to fall short on the B network. So this batch of vehicles ended up getting saved. Um, and they're all now in operation on, mi on the Middleton um, depot runs. So they all entered service before B network took place, all B network spec and when they entered traffic they're all done um, sort of well in advance. I saw one of these around Stockport a few weeks before B network happened um, and as I say I've been wanting to ride one ever since. So these are really really cool survivors, they are quite early hybrids and um, they are becoming rare and rarer now just like um, the ex-Oxford hybrids that have re-entered service out of Hyde Road these are also, if you, if you do like hybrids, these are also vehicles that you should have on your to tick list quite an interesting motors don't know how long they're going to last when more um, brand new vehicles show up for the b network but for now they're pretty cool buses and as i say give me another list of vehicles in manchester to tick off it's really really nice i mean the bus itself has been quite good quite a rapid quick run and as you can hear um, it's really good at acceleration but yes um, i will see you all very shortly when we arrive at the hospital um, for our next bus ride that will all be well if it goes to plan and be our final depot vehicle that we need to sample this time a Queen's Road bus on one of the new and slightly unexpected types of buses that has joined the B network. So there is a fair few of these, I mean Steve has just seen 12266 as well, so there are a fair few, but here we are at the hospital, so we're going to jump off now, we've got about 5 or 10 minutes to wait for our next bus on the 94. Thank you. So it's all got very exciting. We did plan to get the 94, however, the 94 is coming not in service um, and left not in service, uh, um, presumably means that there was no driver for the bus. However, it has meant that we could photograph a few other random bits. This is one of the services that was taken over um, early by Diamond, who were running B Network vehicles on it. Um, it's, a, it's a strange, strange one, was a 151, used to be operated by Stott. There's a 149 just leaving down there. That's also the same spec, but a different slightly different seated interior and um, one of these e200 mmc's that's on the 149 and um, that was a stagecoach one so it's all been quite exciting here we've got quite a few photos of bits and now coming up the road is our quite exciting bus the b8 rle mcv of auras uh, this one is 21420 that will take us on the 52 possible back round to where the oldham corridor routes go so we can get a bus back over to oldham So there we go, so we are still on the Evora on the 52. I don't know what you think about it, Steve, but I think out of all the ones that we've been on, I, I think this is my favourite. <laughs> I really do like these. Um, do love a good proper Volvo. Um, I mean, the MMC was quite nice, wasn't it? The MMC was nice, but this just seems a lot sleeker. I mean, the seats are a bit harder, but it just seems like the interior is a bit more pleasant. Um, and as I say, with it being a B8, um, you can hear that power. Um, I mean, this, this specific example, um, the gears are incredible long on it. Um, it does feel like it's got very, very long gears. Um, I don't know what the light's doing, but it's got incredibly long gears. So it's sounding really, really good and being very powerful on the 52. So these are all based out of Queen's Road. They're predominantly for the 52 and the 53 services, predominantly for those routes. However, they have also been doing the 41s. Um, as I discussed in my OMS 2 video, so they've been doing the 41 service and you can expect them potentially on evenings to operate other Queen's Road um, routes I would imagine like the 167, they'll probably end up appearing on them but as I say for now it seems with the 52, the 53 
the 94 service and then whatever spare seems to be doing the 41. Thank you. So there we go, so we're walking onto the main A62, the main road for buses up to Oldham, as goes 21420. Now it seems quite strange to have stagecoach with B8R Elite Evoras. Um, they've been very much ADL around our part. However, we do have to remember that up in Scotland, they're having an MCV Evora revolution. Our stagecoach in Scotland have acquired quite a lot of Evoras for their services up in the Highlands. So it isn't particularly unusual for them to acquire them. It's just unusual for us lot in the north of England um, to see a stagecoach Manchester out of everybody with Volvos and Volvo B8 Evoras. So now we've done every single um, depot. We've done at least one bus from every single depot now involved in the B network takeover um, in Trench 2. We're just going to walk up to this bus stop up here and jump on an 83 or an 84 that will take us up to Oldham. Whatever shows up first and then we'll finish our video in Oldham. So we can already see our bus in the distance, it is going to be an 83 and we can see it in the very, very distance, it's one of the BYD electrics. It would seem rather rude I think in this video if we didn't sample at least one BYD E400 EV electric. Um, as there are all the other different types of buses but it's important to remember just like with Bolton um, Oldham is now um, running electric buses. For the first time in their history um, they will be running electric buses on the main corridors like this one, the 83s, the 84s, with plans for them also to go into the 409, 17 and 18s, presumably at a later date, because at the time that I'm filming this, um, all of the 409s, 17s and 18s appear to be diesel buses today. So here we go, coming up the road now, it's one of our 24 plate um, EVs, electric vehicles, and one of the BYDs, and this will take us as far as Oldham Main Interchange. So LF, LF24, YZW, So we're nearly at Oldham bus station now, it's been quite nice to have the announcements, um, I think that's going to be a big improvement for these corridors. Very strange that the announcements work on this BYD, yet the E400 MMC with the same announcement system didn't work on this route. So I don't know how they've done it, I don't know if it's just files are missing uploading and stuff like that, I have no idea. So we're sat at the back of the BYD, I once again 
have the exact same leg room problem that I usually have. I mean, we, we sort of on the wheel arch and these BYDs. So you tend to have an issue. Even Steve is having a slight problem with leg room here, and I'm considerably taller than him. I don't think he'll mind me saying I'm considerably taller than him, and he's also having a slight leg space problem that I am having. So that is the one real negative with these. Apart from that, nice USBs, nice seat maquettes. It's got the partition in the middle again that's becoming standard on buses um, for people's health and safety so they don't fly forward when the bus slams all on. If you want a comparison, the BYDs that they use at first leads on the Sturt and PR3s, they still have the middle seating so you can still use the middle seat on those. But apart from that, it's alright is this, very much the same as the ones that Bolton run, nothing major is different, they still have the two wheelchair bays, the announcements the same ways, stuff like that. So there's not, not much, not much is particularly different um, to what we got and when we got in Bolton, but again, it's still nice to see them, as I say the one negative is the leg room if you do sit at the back. Yeah. So there we go, so that was our B Network Tranche 2 exploration for now. Uh, we'll pass into the studio for a little bit of a sum up as to the buses we've been on, the routes we've sampled, the depots, the operators that are running it and any other bits and bobs that we may have missed. So to conclude this video, and it was pretty much a documentary, I thoroughly enjoyed recording this video. I cannot emphasise enough how much I enjoyed recording this video. It's always really exciting when something different happens in the bus world, um, and Tranche 2 is no exception. Lots of new vehicle transfers, new routes, new, um, new buses, um, and new operators. So it's always quite nice to just have a basic sample, like we've done in this video, um, basically of the first week, the operation, having a full travel around, seeing what it's all about. Now, there are going to be separate videos. There's other videos releasing this week on the channel, so make sure those that have already been released, go and check them out. And those that haven't, you do subscribe so you don't miss them. And there's also going to be videos next week where we look at specific vehicle types as listed at the bottom of the screen um, that have basically mentioned some of the new buses um, that have sort of arrived as part of Tranche 2, including um, in this one that's quite unique, the Solo SRs and the B8RLE MCV Evoras that are quite unusual, quite surprising um, and quite unique for this tranche. So we'll be doing special focus on bits like that. But just to conclude, Stagecoach are operating the Middleton, Oldham and Queen's Road depots and all of the affiliated services, as well as the odd, odd additions, one or two additional routes as well, um, encompassed on some of the local services from other operators have been taken over, with First Bus operating in Rochdale on the local franchise. Go North West also operate in the area from Haywood. They operate the existing B network services um, from the 472, 474 and the 163 from Haywood, but also have won these school contracts in the area from Haywood Depot. However, they haven't been included in the list purely because they are just the school bus provider and we wouldn't have been able to tick off one of their buses in the area anyway. With all of that in mind, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have done, do be sure to click that like button so that more people can find it and enjoy like you have. And if you want to already, do be sure to subscribe to the Amos Central YouTube channel for more content like this surrounding the exciting B Network as Manchester buses get franchised, the before and afters, as well as in-depth um, videos on the specific operations, the specific vehicles used, and some adventures that I'm planning around the B Network, all B themed. So with all of that in mind, I do hope you've enjoyed this one and I will see you all in the next video, mate. Goodbye for now. Bye.